Hello Aries, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the general collective message for any major Aries placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. And so if this, if this message does not resonate, I do encourage you to check your other signs and placements. Before jumping in with the messages that came through, tapping into the energies, I just want to put it out there that I am launching a second online tarot class, and this class will begin on Thursday, November the 9th. The class will run for one hour from 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for five consecutive weeks. If you think this is something that might interest you when it comes to learning the tarot from me, I would be happy to have you join the class, so check out the description box below. If you also are interested in booking a private reading of any kind, also, the description for all of the readings that I offer can be found below in the description box. All right, Aries, I just kept seeing the number 911. So you might have recently gone through some type of an emergence, an emergent situation. 911, I think of emergency. But I, I feel like there's all of these pent up emotions that kind of need to be released. And I do feel a relief after maybe expressing all of these pent up emotions. And so if you've recently gone through like a breakup, I feel there was like this sudden unexpected uh, departure that likely was um, part of this emergency energy, this emergent energy. And so... I do feel this really is a time for you, Aries, to really focus on yourself, maybe your family life, um, and really working on building your self-confidence, which I feel has taken like this big hit. So let's jump in with the cards. Let's see what other messages need to come through for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. And I'm starting off by pulling from the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle deck today. Ooh. We get a burden and we get rebirth. And so, yeah, I feel you might have recently released a long-standing burden. Somebody where you might have some deep roots with. And, and maybe this emergent 911 situation is part of some rebirth process. So you're probably in the throes of some type of spiritual transformation and releasing some past burdens when it comes to these pent-up emotions. So... Let's see what other messages need to come through for you, Aries. Messages for Aries, Moon Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Okay, all of these three just flipped right out. And so we get the disruption. And so this is a tower. And some type of tower, I feel, has kind of created some unexpected movement. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is going to be key, especially if you've recently gone through an unexpected breakup or ending. I, I still feel some challenges around the corner. Definitely some challenges. And this forgiveness card is a 49, which also breaks down to a 13. So I do feel as part of this rebirth process, forgiveness is going to be needed. Forgiveness of self, forgiveness of whoever it is that, that has caused you so much pain. I, I also feel this energy of like... um. It's really important to stay active. Um, laziness is not going to really help you uh, create that much needed movement. This is kind of feeling like the chariot. So you could be dealing with a cancer or have um, prominent cancer in your chart. But I just feel there's been a disruption. Um, this could have recently happened or is about to happen or is happening right now. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius uh, or could have Aquarius in your chart. Somebody with prominent Aquarius placements, but I feel there's been a sudden shakeup, a sudden ending, which has created maybe unexpected movement in a direction that you weren't planning on going in. But I feel the deer energy is speaking of it's time to kind of level up. It's a master number 22. 22 further breaks down to four, which is all about foundations. Ooh, and then we get the wasp. This speaks of anger, retaliation, and jealousy. It's also a 21 card. And so there is a major cycle reaching completion. Libra. Balance. Something about the south node in Libra. You could be dealing with somebody trying to project their anger onto you. Maybe somebody is seeking retaliation. And maybe they're jealous that you've chosen to kind of move on. That's kind of what I see here. But I do feel a completion of a cycle. So... 
let's jump in with some spiritual journey oracle messages oh my gosh we got transformation again at the cut so you're definitely going through some type of shedding when it comes to layers so they're showing me like peeling back the layers of an onion and so i do feel a, a relationship has recently left your life whether this is a romantic relationship a friendship a work partnership a family member but this relationship really wasn't serving you and your higher purpose and so maybe this person was a teacher for you maybe this uh situation was to help you evolve and people come on our path and present themselves as teachers even though they're not aware that they're teaching us a lesson and some people come to teach us some very negative lessons. Some come to teach us positive lessons. But I do feel like you've gone through some type of very disrupting experience. And how can you turn this into a gift? Maybe it's time for you to embrace some sort of leadership role within the collective when it comes to your fated destined purpose. So let's see what other messages need to come through for you, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node messages for Aries, please. Heightened awareness. So I do feel your intuition has really been warning you. Maybe you've ignored the signs. Maybe you have, you've been ignoring that gut intuition uh, telling you that something here just isn't right. And we, and we shuffled and we still have the transformation on the bottom of the deck. So Scorpio energy is coming through. And uh, yeah, the heightened awareness flipped out in reverse with the obstruction on it. And so I just feel like an unexpected roadblock, an unexpected tower and needing to understand why this disruption or this obstruction um, kind of happened. Because I do feel like your intuition was sensing something, feeling something wasn't quite right. And I feel like you ignored your intuition. And so this tower kind of came in in order to push you in a new direction it created some type of breakthrough and it's like a, a breakdown uh, for the breakthrough so you might be purging a lot of negative emotions but I feel you and only you can transform this situation Aries and so I, I feel your hard work is going to pay off don't give up keep going keep going it's time to make decisions that are going to uh be for the betterment for your life for your family life for the people that you're connected with and so you know we can let things happen to us or we can understand the lesson as to why they happened for us and so it's like the signs the things they've been cautioning you trying to get you to journey towards fulfillment but i do feel maybe there was some negative karmic influences here that really kind of dragged you down and you and only you can take charge of your destiny you and only you can take charge of this situation and I feel this is about choosing to live life more consciously so I do feel with this transformation this is this is really putting a spotlight on where maybe you need to find some more like-minded people I do feel you're going through some very intense rejuvenation energies here so let's jump in with the tarot let's see what other messages need to come through for you Aries Five of Cups, Nine of Cups. So we kind of got a Four of Cups at play here. I think be very mindful of focusing on the negative, right? The negative teaches us what we need to learn. But I feel right now you're really learning to forgive yourself. I think maybe you had high hopes here. Things didn't quite turn out the way that you had hoped for or expected. And so how can you look at the hidden blessings in the tower, right? And so a tower comes in to get us unstuck if we're if we're stuck in a relationship filled with complacency and a lot of heavy emotions um usually the tower comes in for a reason because this was not your wish fulfillment and and i do feel maybe at one point in time you thought this was going to be your wish come true but right now i think you're needing to find faith in the universe when it comes to this redirection and to try and find the hidden blessings the Five of Cups is a period of grieving, mourning, and maybe holding on to some shame. And I just got to say, Aries, shame is a wasted emotion. So we get the awakening. We're going to put that on the side. I wasn't ready to cut the deck. Uh, Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But this is like a major wake-up call. I do feel you were stuck and you were complacent. And I do feel resisting some type of spiritual awakening. So I think if you're still feeling a little bit stuck, you're going to start to see things in a whole new light. So the ten of the ten of cups, 
the Empress reversed, the Queen of Cups reversed, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Cups in reverse. There's no more confusion. The Seven of Wands upright, Seven, Seven. We get the Ten of Wands. There's that, there's that burden. The Page of Pentacles, I like that. And we close off the read with the Six of Wands in reversed. Bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups in reversed. And so what I see going on here, Aries, is in the recent past, I do think you were in some type of uh, relationship. Maybe you have children. Maybe you were in a marriage or longstanding commitment. And you really tried to make things work. I just feel... There could have been a, a period of time where maybe there was a lack of abundance. The Empress Reverse does not know her worth and her value. We also have a Queen of Cups in Reverse who I feel has really self-sacrificed in a connection. And I do feel maybe you've been dealing with somebody that you can't really trust. But the Empress Upright, she wants to raise children well. She's a very nurturing, loving energy. And so there could be some type of foundation that is completely depleted you or or codependencies here there's definitely some type of codependencies here you could have been with this person for maybe the last 10 years but i feel this energy of holding on to the memories and nothing ever stays the same right aries and so maybe for the last four years or so you've been in a state of depression um feeling suppressed blocked from moving forward uh you know thinking about the shoulda coulda wouldas I do feel something here is very emotional. I do feel an emotional release. And I feel maybe, you know, there was no movement in the past because this really wasn't your dream come true. And so where have you been self-sacrificing? Because we have to learn to take care of ourselves, nurture ourselves. Nobody's coming to save us, right, Aries? But I do feel you can't forget to take care of yourself. You can't give and give and give from an empty cup. And not become depleted. And so I do feel moving on from a family situation. The tens are completion with the ten of wands and uh, the six of swords below the ten of cups. This is maybe relocating. Maybe you're looking for a new place to live. I do feel you might be moving homes. And that will really bring in a sense of welcomed relief. And that's going to allow you to stop procrastinating. Uh, I do feel maybe there's been some hidden addictions here that have blocked movement forward. The Seven of Cups in reverse, this is saying, hey, there's no more confusion. Maybe you've been going through a period of disillusionment. And I do feel you really need to guard your energy right now, Aries. You really need to learn to stand up for yourself or what it is that you believe in and to build that confidence. I do feel you've got some challenges and some battles to face up ahead. But I do feel a longstanding burden is being released. For a brand new clean slate here, there is a clean slate here, but I do feel there's still a decision needing to be made when it comes to which direction to go. And I, and I feel you're a little bit emotionally closed off as well when it comes to um, your intuition. You've not really been trusting that intuitive nudge, and I do feel it's kind of time to make a head over heart decision. I feel there's been a lack of creativity, a lack of success, a lack of abundance, but I do feel you're, you're leaving a very confusing situation behind. I do feel maybe a loveless situation. So let's go a little bit deeper with the Empress reversed. You could have been dealing with somebody that did not value you, right? But we get the Six of Cups in reversed, the Four of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. I just feel like you held on to a situation a little bit longer than you should have, right? Um, when it comes to a disconnect. We've kind of got a Two of Cups in reverse here. And we got a Four of Pentacles. And so maybe you held on because of the extreme emotional attachment to this person. Maybe because you've known them since childhood or you've known them for a long time. But I do feel a connection here that triggered some inner child healing. I feel you're no longer romanticizing or over romanticizing about who this person was or what they presented to be. But I feel if you keep staying stuck in this discontent situation, you're going to keep getting distracted and you might miss some new magical opportunities that are going to be presented. I just feel that in the recent past, there was an ending. 
there was a disconnection, there was a breakup of some sort, and I do feel you can't keep looking at things as black and white. I do feel there was an unexpected departure in the past, and maybe this this departure took you to your knees. And, and you know, the Empress reversed has to muster up all of the strength to turn everything around. But I do feel this was a blessing in disguise because I feel something here was very unhealthy, very toxic, maybe even addictive. And that's the devil card in reverse, breaking the chains from some type of trauma bond. So I do see you moving forward, finding your way to a very peaceful place, Aries. But you do... I feel you do have to maybe relocate. So let's clarify the seven of cups in reverse. So I feel within the next week or so, this clarity is going to arrive. <laughs> this clarity is going to arrive. You could have been dealing with a third party situation, but I, I feel, I do feel a lot of heart healing. The next seven weeks to seven months, I feel, is going to be you doing the deep-seated healing work. I feel you've got what it takes to overcome these obstacles, Aries. You're really going to have to find that faith and trust that everything always works out. The universe is always working in our favor. And so I feel there's some blockages when it comes to receiving some insights, though. So meditation might really help you in the energies. You're going to want to remain objective before making a decision. I do feel this overwhelming mental exhaustion when it comes to some truth exposed, uh, maybe due to a third party. But this is like a canceled engagement, a broken engagement. Um, this is like the party's over, the party's over. And so that would be the three to the seven in reverse. That's the ten of cups reversed. And so no more holding on to a fantasy or an illusion and coming to that truth. I do feel you do have a big decision to make here. Oh, look at that. And then the two of cups reversed. So no more confusion. I do feel you're letting go of a romantic relationship that really brought forward a lot of challenges in your life. Forgiveness is what is going to be needed. I feel an Aries here that didn't want to give up on this person, was hoping for a renewal of some sort. But we got two people here completely detached emotionally. There's a lack of emotional vulnerability. I feel there's a lack of trustworthiness, devotions, and I think somebody here is maybe feeling a little bit foolish. So this is kind of feeling like a very hard karmic reset, the starting of a new cycle, but it's not coming very easily. So... I do feel maybe you've been struggling with some health problems. I just feel a complete and total recognition that there is no victory here. I was getting ready to clarify the page of pentacles and uh, the wise council flipped out. So this is the hierophant. This is about a higher level of learning. Maybe you are, you know, ready to choose relationships that are going to be better suited for you moving forward. We get the justice reversed, clarifying the page of pentacles with the queen of swords and the ace of cups. I do feel you're learning to love yourself. Self-love is going to be key here. I do feel maybe a divorce or an ending. Maybe it's time to really focus on some career goals. Self-love is going to be key when it comes to a new emotional experience. I do feel a heart awakening and a karmic rebalancing. And so if something did not work in your favor, you need to trust that the universe is saying this, this worked out exactly how it was meant to work out. Taurus, Libra energy. But this is also the energy of the Empress together, Taurus and Libra. I think recently your whole world got flipped upside down. And maybe you were dealing with somebody that lacked integrity. But what I want to say is you will come out the wise winner. I do feel it's time for you to trust that the divine has been trying to bring you forward the clarity that you need to move forward when it comes to this releasing of a person or a situation that really no longer is serving your path. Maybe try to find the humor in it. I know um, in hindsight, we can look back and, and find the humor in a very painful situation. But I do feel you're coming into some brilliant insights some new psychic abilities, and I do feel things might feel stalled and delayed right now. So what is this long-standing burden that needs to be released, Aries? I just feel stress, anxiety, you might be struggling with some headaches. Yeah, I just feel this realignment. 
finding the strength to go through this realignment. And I just feel the burden is feeling foolish because maybe you didn't trust yourself. I think you let fear override um, your intuition when it comes to taking a leap of faith in a new direction. And I think it is going to take a lot of strength. I feel like this energy of humility coming forward. And so the judgment, this is a final decision is being made. I think you've reviewed the past. You know it's time to head in a new direction. And I think the clarity that you've been seeking is going to be presenting itself very soon. But the clarity is, I believe, you spent a lot of time trying to make a situation work with somebody that really didn't honor you as a mother or a wife. Somebody that really wasn't devoted and somebody that you couldn't trust. And so I think it's time to put in the effort to, to plant some new seeds and trust that the rewards will come. But there's going to be a need for some patience here. But yes, I do feel um, an embarrassing secret is coming out or it's recently come out and this has put a dead stop to a very unhealthy situation. Because there was a lack of willpower. I feel you could be dealing with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that doesn't have the willpower to maybe overcome some addictions. But maybe you've recently gone through a material loss. But I feel somebody here wasn't honest, whether this is you or somebody you're dealing with. And I do feel an embarrassing secret is coming out when it comes to a situation that is needing to be rectified and balanced. And I feel maybe clearing or paying off some karmic debt with somebody. I just feel maybe you will be even receiving an unexpected um, inflow of, of abundance. The six of pentacles is always about you get what you give, right? And so the more good you put out there, the more good you get back in return. Let's get you um, an advice card from Spirit. What advice do you have for Aries? Advice card for Aries. Yeah, I think right now you really need to strive towards recapturing your energy because I felt that laziness. So what can you do to recapture your vitality, your sense of self? What will bring you joy? How can you find that inner joy? Because whatever this situation is, it was fraught with deception and you're really going to want to be resourceful I'm responsible surrounding your money at this time because we did have that four of pentacles. And so maybe the lesson is learning to choose people who treat you with dignity and respect because I do feel the situation feels very disrespectful. And so spirit's always there to offer you the guidance theories. You need to open up your mind and you also need to trust in the um, messages that you've been receiving from the higher guides and from the assistance that you've asked for. And that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, please feel free to check out that description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.